Taoiseach, you will be aware of the difficulties uh, that families encounter in accessing mental health services, particularly for children and young people. There's an organisation in Limerick called DOCUS Midwest Autism. Uh, they, they cater for 250 young children and young people each week. They have direct access to 300 families. They recently applied for a grant under the Children's Disability Services Grant, they call it, and uh, they were refused for reasons which are incomprehensible to me, because if they had succeeded, uh, they would have doubled their capacity. And art services for, for young people with autism in the Midwest, sparse at the moment, would be infinitely worse if this organisation didn't exist. So my question to you is, I mean, does the government intend to increase provision for organisations like this? Because they're doing invaluable work, as you know, and they're dealing with families often under great stress. So, you know, I, I, I wanted... Can you also confirm, T-shirt, if this grant will, will be available again in the not-too-distant future? Thank you. Deputy. Butler. Thank you very much for your question. So I know at the start you mentioned it has been under mental health, but it actually falls under the remit of my colleague, Minister Anne Rabbit, who is the Minister for Disabilities. What I can say is, um, obviously, there are some children with dual diagnosis that need the supports of CAMS for mental health and also might have a secondary diagnosis of autism. Um, this year alone, um, in relation to the mental health budget, 108 million has been spent on various um, grants to different organisations to support them. But I would certainly raise your issue that you raised today with Minister Rabbit. Um, a lot of organisations send in uh, business cases to the various CHOs and they are looked at. Um, in some instances they fall down in relation to governance or in relation to accounts. Um, but I certainly ask Minister Rabbit to have a look at it for Thank you. you.